Hello everyone, Spook Strickland here with you. Just finished my current limiting device. It's for working on amplifiers. This keeps uh, the full wall amperage from going through your amp should you have an accidental short or something like that or accidentally touch a tool to the chassis. Not that you want to be doing that, but should you do that, this limits the amount of amperage. And I got this uh, design off a YouTube channel by a fellow named Uncle Doug. This is his design. I copied down the schematic that he posted. And uh, basically what it is, plugs into the wall, electricity runs in here, the common wire, the ground wire hook up like normal to your outlet, but the black hot wire runs up here to the wall so or to this light socket hooks up to one terminal, then the other terminal runs back and hooks up onto the outlet. So the electricity has to run through a light bulb first before it goes to your amplifier. Your amplifier will be plugged in here. What that does, that drastically cuts down on the amount of amperage that is available to your amplifier so that if something should happen, you know, you're not going to have a complete meltdown. That's pretty simple. Uh, you can see there, just got a plastic uh, box like you get at Home Depot that holds the, the wall socket. It's a uh, ceramic uh, light bulb holder. I screwed some little uh, rubber feet on it so it wouldn't slide around on the table. This uh, is just a cheap piece of melamine that scrap that I got out of the scrap bin at Home Depot. One thing I would say to do, get yourself a good plug. This was uh, just one of the cheapy Chinese made ones and it was a pain in the butt. <laughs> Little connectors inside there weren't really lined up as good as they could have been. The threads on the screws weren't as good as they could have been and just it was an all around you know hassle. I should have spent a few extra bucks, got an American made one and it wouldn't have wasted nearly as much time putting it together but uh, it's together now so I'm not going to worry about it but if I have to replace it definitely go on American and uh, I should have in the beginning. You should just buy American every chance you get, you know. But uh, you know, money's tight, so you got to do what you got to do. So I'm not going to fault anybody for trying to save any money. I'm just letting you know. Anyway, there's the the schematic, and uh, I'm going to get ready and test it out. I'm going to get my Fender Champ hooked up. I've had that since uh, probably about 1994. Need the cap job at the very least, because as far as I know, it's original and like at least 40 years old. And I will talk to you later.